Adoption is something very dear to me. My husband Andy and I had two biological children. Then we adopted two children. I thought our family was complete until God stirred my heart. Our children to this maze. Anyway, the bottom line is we got During a television interview, a couple told me about three sisters they met in a Ukrainian orphanage. The couple was approved to adopt only two children. So the oldest sister said she would stay behind, so her two sisters would have the opportunity to have a real family. What type of child is willing to make such a sacrifice? I couldn't get it out of my thoughts. I prayed, God, bring a family to adopt those girls. Little did I know it would be my own. The willingness to embrace another adoption didn't happen overnight. I already had four children. I imagined the chaos of seven. Andy and I clearly felt God calling us to become parents to these three little girls. But to be honest, I was looking for someone who would say, Terry, are you insane? Bye, honey. I mean, this was adopting three girls at once. We should have been concentrating on sending our kids to college. Instead, we would be back to kids in grade school. God, I don't think I can do this. I just thought I'm not big enough for this. This is a huge job and I, it's too important. You know, if I blow this, I mean, are they suffering in the orphanage? Yes, but wow, God, I mean, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to, how to be everything they probably need us to be and 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 we're not perfect parents in any way and I felt like God kind of chuckled and said you're not gonna do this I'm gonna do this and you're just you're gonna come with me so with God's promise to help we added three wonderful Ukrainian girls to our family Sophia age 9 Zoya 11 and Elisa 12 Today, I've found adopting and raising children is not without its challenges, but it's very fulfilling to know you've given a child a better life, a Christian heritage, and a chance to know God.